Hey Libras, how is it going? Happy 1st, the 16th of August. If this is your first time checking out Truly Divine's channel. What is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. Definitely an interesting message to say the least. Kind of the same message that I had for Sar Sar Sagittarius today. Um, sorry, I'm dealing with um, tooth pain um, for the last week. So it's kind of intense, really hard for me to speak, but trying to get these readings done and trying to get caught up with all the readings. So bear with me. Um, yeah. So you guys definitely have an interesting message to say the least. So let's just dig in. Let's get started. Dill, can you close your door? Yes. Thanks, babe. Okay. I can praise abundance whenever I see it. If you seek financial well-being for yourself, you must praise it whenever you see it. If you would like more abundance for yourself personally or for others you care about, you must not criticize those who are experiencing abundance. When you criticize or condemn or push against anything, you, you activate an opposing vibration to what you seek. Every time, no exceptions. And the second one says, think about what you, oh, sorry. What do I want? Why do I want the relationship I want? Think about what you want in a relationship and why you want it. Look for those around you who are experiencing good relationships and feel appreciation for them. Make lists of the positive aspects of those good feeling relationships you have spent time with. In fact, one of the fastest ways to make your way to a wonderful relationship is to find any subject that consistently feels good, even if it has nothing to do with relationships and focus on that. So with that, I feel like, Libras, you have some major choices to make. I feel like that you are at a primal, I don't even know the word I was thinking, but you're at a time in your life right now where you need to remain open. There is something that um, you need to look at it from a different point of view. And I feel like this is, again, a time where you just have to have faith. You have to have trust and you have to have courage that where God and the universe and spirit are leading you is what is going to be of your higher good with a full card here. I feel like with the Prince of Pentacles, this is a time where you have to change your approach, you know, don't be so serious. Life is going to happen whether you're ready for it or not. Life is going to happen whether you're angry, happy, sad. So might as well be happy and enjoy every obstacle, every challenge. Um, I feel like this is a so important time for you guys to focus on your goals, focus on your dreams. What do you want? Because for some of you, you have no idea what you want. For some of you, you're kind of in that stagnation mode wondering, is there more out there for me? Wondering where can I go with this? So I feel like it's about going within yourself and, and allowing yourself to where is I'm going with this. Allowing yourself to not only feel the bad, but to feel the good. It's okay to be happy. It's okay to be mad. It's okay to be sad, but just don't stay in those negative feelings. I feel like this is a time where you can't be afraid to take risk. You have the key to change the direction of your life. We have the four pentacles here. This is changing. This is having that control. This is not selling yourself out. Some of you have sold yourselves out. But this is you changing your perspective. This is you keeping yourself in alignment. This is you taking back control. Whatever that means to you, that is... That is what you need to do. I feel like some of you are going to have a new offer at work, you know, a more higher paying salary. You know, with September coming, this could be a career. This could be a school thing. You know, going back to school, getting your degree, you know, going back to college, finishing off your courses or something in the line of that. But this is beneficial. This is you doing something more for yourself. This is you going after those goals, going after those dreams, you know, firing up that fire that's within you, the four of wands, you know, letting shit flow. This is divine timing. This is your, the world in your hands, you know.
happiness, love, partnerships, commitments, looking outwards, the two of cups, prince of cups, pregnancy, marriages, engagements, Libras. New beginnings. The world's completion. Understanding something, looking at something from a different point of view, Libras. Having the strength, being graceful, knowing that nothing can stop you with the princesses of the stories. No, you are your own blockage. You are your own obstacle. You are your own challenge. Go for what you want. Don't let anyone stop you from living your life, living your dreams. This is happiness. This is being free. This is harmony. This is being in your own element. This is weighing options with this furlant. This is seeing the rainbow once you saw the storm. This is going after what it is that you've been trying to create, Libra. No, we've got choices here with your reading. We, we need to have trust. We need to have courage. We need to have faith. We need to change an approach. We need to take back our, our control. You know, we need to let shit flow. We need divine timing. We need to let divine timing work. This is love, attraction, you know, loving yourself. Some of you are going to get engaged. Some of you are going to get married. Some of you are going to have a baby. Happiness, free, harmony. Completion, understanding, having strength and having graceful. That is your reading, Libras, for August 1st to the 16th. Let's read your oracle card. So, unlock your magic. Dear Stu, going the extra mile to achieve your dreams and putting in some overtime will reap big rewards. Now is the time for, your, for you to act, to stir up some energy and put those plans into action. There are many windows of opportunity that open but close quickly when you don't take the risk and go for it. Today, be confident that your hard work will pay off and you'll feel that satisfaction and fulfillment of reaching your desired outcome. It might turn out even better than you expected. Isn't that amazing? Remember, however much work you're willing to put in, we will match it tenfold on our end. Everyone over here is rooting for you to win the game of life, so just do it. Loving you so, so much. Short and sweet, Libra, but that's exactly what I have for you guys for August 1st the 16th. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, subscribe, comment if you haven't. I will see you guys again between August 16th. Take care.